Swayam Prabha Digital India Educated India Hello everyone, this is Siddhant Walia, Assistant Professor at Manipal University, Jaipur. I will be taking you through this course which is Principles of Real Estate Management. So let us begin with the first lecture, Foundations of Real Estate Management, Principles and Practices. So I will be taking you uh, through some basics through first lecture uh, and on this foundation we will be building further important uh, topics which are related to this particular course. So first the table of content. So in today's introductory session we will be delving into the foundational aspects of real estate principles upon which the subsequent sessions will build upon. So let us take a look at the table of content for today's session. So first what is real estate? So understanding the fundamental concepts of real estate and its significance, a basic definition will be part of it. Then factors affecting real estate investment. So exploring the various factors that influence investment decisions in real estate. Then introduction to real estate managers, an overview of the role and the responsibilities and various types of real estate managers evolution of real estate management, how the historical development and the past actions have impacted this area. Then also we will be covering certain important events which have impacted real estate markets of India and then technological changes which are always impacting any industry. So real estate is also impacted by them. So, the way business of real estate is conducted is also impacted. Then the role of government, uh, something which we very well know that real estate is extremely uh, impacted by the government actions whether it is the local or the central government. So, that will also be covered. Then taxation, now uh, when we talk about money or business aspect, taxation plays a crucial role and so investing in real estate also basically uh, very much impacted by taxation policies of the governments. Then compliance with regulation which is another important issue with real estate that uh, the proper compliance is done and uh, so that uh, what are the implications of that so that will also be part of this and then the real reasons for real estate investment that why we do real estate investment. So that also will be covered. Then what are the factors which influence land value again something which is important for decision making relating to real estate. Then what impacts real estate market. So analyzing the dynamics that, uh, that drives the fluctuation in the market so that will also be part of it and then the key indicators in real estate. So highlighting the key metrics uh, used to assess the performances of the real estate sector. And uh, the last but not the least uh, which is also another essential part and that is your financing which is exploring the financing options which are available for real estate purchases. So moving on, so what is real estate? So real estate refers to land and all its components including natural resources, structures, utilities and improvements. It encompasses a broad spectrum of property types ranging from residential homes and commercial buildings to industrial facilities and underdeveloped land. Real estate serves as a cornerstone of the economy providing essential spaces for living, working and conducting business activities. The management of real estate is vital for responding to population shifts. So, societal changes and economic trends 
ensuring that property remain functional, valuable and responsive to evolving needs of the communities. Various property types. Then real estate comprises diverse property types tailored to different uses and sectors of the economy. Residential real estate include uh, independent houses, uh, apartments, villas, catering to the housing needs of the individual and families. Commercial real estate encompasses office building, retail, hotel, mixed use development, providing spaces for businesses, commerce and entertainment industries. Real estate comprises of warehouses, factories, distribution centers, so a diverse area. Then role of real estate managers. So real estate managers play a critical role in overseeing, operating and optimizing real estate assets to meet the needs of the occupant, investors and community. They are responsible for property management, leasing, maintenance, financial management and tenant relations, ensuring that properties are well maintained, profitable and compliant with the regulations. Real estate managers also play a proactive role in responding to demographic shifts, market trends and technological advancements, adapting properties to changing needs and preferences. So real estate is multifaceted asset class that encompasses a wide range of properties from residential homes to commercial complexes and industrial facilities. Effective management of real estate asset is essential for ensuring their long term viability, functionality and value and real estate managers play a crucial role in that. Moving on, factors affecting real estate investment. Real estate influ investments are influenced by a multitude of factors that shape the feasibility, profitability and overall success of ventures in this asset class. These factors encompass a wide range of considerations including governmental regulations and taxes, accessibility to and from the property, financing limitations, topography of the land, prevailing economic conditions both locally and globally. Each of these factors play a crucial role in determining the attractiveness of real estate investment. Opportunity, guiding investors in their decision making processes and ultimately impacting the performance of their investment portfolio. Understanding and navigating these factors effectively is essential for real estate investors seeking to optimize returns and mitigating risk in this dynamic and multifaceted market. Government regulations and taxes. Government regulation and tax policies play a pivotal role in shaping real estate investment ventures. Additionally, taxes such as property tax, capital gain tax and stamp duties can significantly affect the overall return on investment for real estate properties. Accessibility to and from the property. The accessibility of a property both in terms of transportation, infrastructure and proximity to amenities is crucial for its attractiveness to potential tenants or buyers. Properties located in areas with convenient access to highways, public transportation, schools, shopping centers and healthcare facilities tend to have higher demand and thus higher property values. Then coming on to financial limitations. Real estate investment often requires significant capital and financial financing limitations can impact investors ability to acquire or develop properties. Factors such as interest rate, lending policies and credit availability can influence the affordability and feasibility of real estate projects, potentially limiting investment opportunities for individual or companies. Topography of the land. The topography of the land include factors such as slope, elevation, soil quality and natural features can significantly impact development potential and value of property. Properties with favorable topography may be more suitable for construction or agriculture purposes while challenging terrain could require costly modifications or limit development options. Then we come to economic conditions, local or global. Economic conditions both locally and globally have a profound impact on the real estate market. Factors such as employment rate, GDP growth, inflation and consumer confidence can influence property demand, rental rates and property values. Global economic trends such as currency fluctuation and geopolitical events can also affect investor sentiment and real estate investment flows. 
real estate as a tangible investment. Real estate is a tangible investment with intrinsic value and the potential for steady appreciation over time. Unlike stocks or bonds, real estate provides investor with a physical asset that can generate rental income and appreciate in value over the long term, serving as a hedge against inflation and market volatility. Then another important factor is your pride and satisfaction in real estate investment. Investing in real estate often evokes pride and satisfaction due to its tangible nature and the sense of ownership it provides. Real estate investors can take pride in contributing to the development of communities, revitalizing neighborhood and creating spaces that fulfill the need of tenants or residents. Additionally, successful real estate investments can offer financial security and a sense of accomplishment to the investors. Proper maintenance and management. Proper maintenance and management by real estate manager are essential for preserving the value of the property and maximizing return on investment. Effective property management involves routine maintenance, timely repairs, tenant relations and financial management to ensure that properties remain attractive, functional and profitable over time. Neglecting maintenance or mismanagement can lead to property depreciation, decrease rental income and diminish property value. Then coming to introduction to the real estate managers. Real estate managers serve as the backbone of the property operations entrusted with the vital task of overseeing day-to-day -day activities, marketing efforts, leasing endeavors and financial reporting of properties. Their role is pivotal in ensuring the smooth functioning and profitability of real estate assets across various sectors. Key responsibilities of real estate managers. Real estate managers should shoulder a wide array of responsibilities aimed at optimizing property performance and maximizing returns for owners. These responsibilities include operations oversight. Real estate managers are tasked with managing the operational aspect of properties, ensuring that maintenance, repair and tenant services are carried out efficiently and effectively. They oversee property upkeep, security and compliance with regulatory standards to maintain a safe and a habitable environment for occupants. Marketing and leasing. Real estate managers are instrumental in marketing properties to attract potential tenants or buyers. They develop marketing strategies, conduct property tours and negotiate lease agreements to secure tenants and maximize occupancy rates. Additionally, they handle tenant inquiries, address concerns and facility lease renewal or termination as necessary. Then we have financial management. Real estate managers are responsible for financial oversight budgeting and reporting for properties under their purview. They develop annual operating budgets, monitoring expenses and ensure timely collection of rents and other income streams. Moreover, they prepare financial reports, forecast and analysis to provide owners with insights into property performance and investment returns. At the core of their role, real estate managers are driven by primary objective of meeting the goal and objectives set by the property owners. Whether the aim is to maximize the rental income, enhance property value or achieve specific investment targets, real estate managers work diligently to align their strategies and actions with the owner's vision and priorities. Value enhancement strategies. Real estate managers are tasked with planning and implementing strategies to enhance the value of properties over time. This involves identifying opportunities for improvement, optimizing operational efficiencies and capitalizing on market trends to drive property appreciation and investment returns. From capital improvement projects to tenant retention initiatives, real estate managers continuously seek ways to add value and ensure long-term sustainability for proper properties they manage. In a sense, real estate managers are integral to the success and profitability of real estate investments. Their multifaceted role encompasses operations, management, marketing, leasing, financial stewardship and value enhancement, all aimed at fulfilling the objectives of property owners and maximizing returns on investments. The evolution of real estate management. Throughout history, the evolution of real estate management has been intricately connected to significant world and economic events. These events have not only shaped the landscape of property ownership, 
but have also transformed real estate into a highly value valued commodity for investors understanding the impact of these events is crucial for comprehending the evolution of real estate management and the strategies adopted within the industry cycles of real estate management real estate management operates within cycles that are influenced by various factors such as economic conditions technological advancements demographic trends and regulatory changes these cycles often coincide with major world events including wars financial crisis technological revolution and geopolitical shift each cycle brings its own set of challenges and opportunities shaping the strategies practices and perceptions within the real estate real estate industry transformation of property ownership over time property ownership has evolved from being primarily a mean of shelter and sustenance to becoming coveted asset class for investors seeking to generate income and build wealth this transformation has been driven by changes in economic structures advancements in financial markets and shifts in societal attitudes towards property ownership real estate has emerged as a key component of investment portfolio offering diversification stability and potential for long term appreciation impact of strategies and practices major world and economic events influence the strategies and practices adopted by real estate managers and investors during the times of economic downturns or market volatility risk management becomes paramount leading to focus on conservative investment strategies and asset preservation conversely periods of economic prosperity may encourage more aggressive growth strategies and expansionary practices within the industry regulatory changes and technological innovations also shape the way real estate is managed and transacted driving efficiency transparency and sustainability in property operations the evolution of real estate management is closely intertwined with the major world and economic events understanding the impact of the event is essential because many times in the past we have seen that some major uh, events have led to some major changes in the market these changes often do occur at a regular period of time that is history may not repeat exactly but it rhymes so learning about them is important because it can impact our future as well now moving on to the inter international historical events which are shaping real estate management so throughout history we have significant global events we have great depression 1929 to 1939 we had global financial crisis 2007 to 2008 and then very recently covid 19 which the impact we are still facing at multiple levels also real estate as a market is not uh, completely isolated from it it is majorly impacted on the other hand because of what happened during covid 19 and the actions which were taken to resist those uh, difficult times so throughout history significant global events have had a profound impact on the real estate industry shaping management practices investment strategies and market dynamics understanding these effects of these events is essential for comprehending the evolution of real estate management on an international scale great depression of the 1930s stand as one of the most impactful economic crises in modern history triggered by the stock market crash of 1929 the great depression resulted in widespread unemployment financial instability and property value depreciation real estate markets were severely affected with plummeting demand for housing and commercial properties real estate management during this period focused on addressing the urgent need for affordable housing and large scale development projects often supported by government interventions and public work initiatives aimed, aimed at stimulating economic recovery then another important major event was global financial crisis of 2007 2008 often also known as gfc was a seismic event that reverberated throughout global economy with its epicenter in the united states housing market triggered by the collapse of the subprime mortgage markets and subsequent housing bubble burst the gfc led to widespread financial turmoil bank failures and sharp decline in property values 
real estate markets around the world were profoundly impacted with plummeting property values, soaring foreclosure rates and a freeze in credit markets. Real estate management strategies during this period focused on mitigating losses, stabilizing distressing assets and restructuring debt obligations to weather the economic storm. COVID-19 very recently, which emerged in late 2019 and continues to present day in some form or the other, has unleashed unprecedented disruption across the globe. With widespread lockdowns, travel restrictions and remote work trends, the pandemic has fundamentally altered the dynamics of real estate market and management practices. Real estate sectors such as hospitality, retail and commercial office spaces have been particularly hard hit, experiencing sharp decline in occupancy rates and rental income. Real estate managers have been forced to adapt quickly to changing market conditions, implementing remote management technologies, reevaluating lease agreements and exploring alternative revenue stream such as e-commerce logistics and healthcare real estate. summary we can say that international historical events such as great depression global financial crisis and covid-19 pandemic have played pivotal role in shaping real estate management practices and market dynamics from addressing housing needs during economic downturn to navigating financial crisis and adapting to unprecedented disruptions real estate managers have demonstrated resilience and innovation in re responding to the challenges posed by these transformative events moving on to impacts of key events on real estate in india so we have just seen that how some major events in international markets have impacted real estate in those areas similarly because real estate is something which is also extremely impacted by the local conditions so specifically to indian markets we will also have to see that what are the key economic events which have shaped the real estate markets in india so first economic reforms and liberalization 1991 the economic reforms and liberalization of 1991 ushered in a new era of growth and development in india with far reaching implications for the real estate sector increased foreign direct investments fdi in real estate was permitted leading to a surge in capital inflows and the emergence of modern real estate practices this period witnessed the entry of multinational corporations the establishment of real estate investment trust reits and the adoption of international standards in construction and project management real estate regulatory authority rera act 2016 the implementation of the real estate regulatory authority rera act in 2016 marked a significant milestone india's real estate regulatory landscape aimed at protecting home buyers and regulatory regulating the real estate market rera mandated the registration of real estate projects and required developers to adhere to strict guidelines regarding project timelines quality standards and transparency in transactions the introduction of rera brought much needed accountability and transparency to the sector enhancing consumer confidence and investor trust goods and services tax gst 2017 the implementation of the goods and services tax gst in 2017 brought about a significant change in india's tax regime replacing multiple indirect taxes with unified tax structure the introduction of gst had implications for property transactions including the sale purchase and lease of real estate assets it also impacted the construction industry by standardizing tax rates on construction materials and services streamlining compliance procedures and reducing tax related complexities covid-19 impact on india the outbreak of covid-19 pandemic in 2020 had far reaching implications for india's real estate sector just like their international counterparts the nationwide lockdown and restrictions imposed to curb the spread of the various the uh, the, the 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 impacts of the virus uh, which disrupted construction activities delayed project deliveries and impacted property transactions the pandemic led to changes in consumer preferences with a growing demand for larger homes suburban living and properties with an enhanced 
amenities and health facilities. Real estate developers and investors had to adapt to re remote work trends, digital marketing strategies and virtual property tours to sustain operations amidst the pandemic induced uncertainties. Also, as recently pointed out by various surveys that the employees of various IT companies uh, are still going through um, either full work from home or hybrid work from home culture. Now, there have been mixed responses by corporate to these requirements or demands or also by employees. But we can clearly see that even though the reverberations of COVID-19 on real estate are not that much today, but in some sense, we can clearly say that the work from home culture, which started during COVID-19 has still not uh, left. And because of that, the commercial real estate is still you know, facing that challenge, whether we talk about international markets or Indian market. So, this is something which will uh, impact the future decision making relating to the commercial real estate and how the design of commercial real estate establishments are done. Then moving on to another important facet of real estate and that is technological change. So, technological advancements are catalyst for change significantly impacting both consumer behavior and business operations in the real estate sector. Here is how. Reshaping consumer behavior and business operations. Technological innovations reshaping how consumer interact with businesses and how business operate. For instance, the rise of e-commerce has transformed retail, prompting a shift towards online shopping and altering the demand for physical retail space. Similarly, an advancement in telecommuting technology have changed the traditional office landscape, affecting the requirement for office space. We just discussed that after COVID-19, this has become a major point of concern or you can say um, for some opportunity when it comes to commercial real estate. Then influence on rental space demand. Technology directly influences the demand for different types of rental spaces across various sectors. E-commerce popularity has led to changes in the retail sector with an increased emphasis on distribution centers and fulfillment facilities rather than traditional brick and mortar stores. Telecommuting trends have reduced the need for larger office footprints or business uh, as businesses embraces remote work options like we discussed impacting the demand for office space. Then some examples of this impact. So, the exponential growth of online shopping platform has driven up demand for warehouses and distribution center space while challenging the need for expansive retail store fronts. The adoption of remote work practices has prompted businesses to reconsider their office spaces, leading a potential decrease in demand for traditional office buildings in city centers. So, we can clearly see that technological change is a potent force that is reshaping the real estate landscape, understanding how technological technology influences consumer behave, behavior and business operation is thus essential for real estate managers to adapt to evolving market dynamics and anticipate future trends in retail space demand. Moving on to the role of government. The government policies and regulations wield significant influence over economic activity, thereby impacting the real estate sector in several ways. Let us see. So, the first one is so impact on economic activity. So, government policies shape the economic landscape, influencing factors such as fiscal policy, monetary policy and regulatory uh, framework. These policies directly effect economic indicators like inflation rate, interest rate and construction activity, which in turn impact the real estate market. Monitoring economic indicators. Rental estate, real estate professionals closely monitor 
key indicators to gauge market conditions and make informed decisions. Indicators such as inflation rates provide insights into purchasing power and consumer spending patterns, influencing property demand and pricing. Indicators such as interest rate influence borrowing cost and mortgage rates affecting affordability and demand for real estate investments. Construction activity indicators signal trends in development and supply impacting property inventory level and market dynamics. Guiding decision making by analyzing government reported economic data and policy announcements, real estate professionals can anticipate market trends and tailor their strategies accordingly. For example, changes in monetary policy affecting interest rate may prompt adjustments in investment strategies, financing decisions and property development plans. In summary, government actions and economic policies play a pivotal role in shaping the real estate landscape. Real estate professionals must stay vigilant, monitoring economic indicators and adapting their strategies to navigate regulatory changes and capitalize on emerging opportunities in the market. Moving on to another area which is very much in control of government, taxation. World over we have seen that taxation policies impact how the investment is done in real estate. And in India also, similarly, real estate is not aloof from taxation policies. Taxation policies, like we said, are made by government, whether it is local, municipal, or state, or central government, or in some part of the world, federal governments. So, taxation plays a crucial role. So, let us understand this. So, taxation is a fundamental aspect of government finance serving as a primary source of revenue to fund various public services and infrastructure. Revenue generation. Governments both at the national and subnational level rely on taxation to generate income essential for funding public expenditures. Taxes levied on individuals, businesses and other entities contribute to government revenue streams, enabling the provision of essential services such as healthcare, education, infrastructure development and law enforcement. Now, let us delve into some examples from India. So, in India taxation is governed by both central government and individual state governments. Central government levies direct taxes such as income tax, corporate tax and indirect tax like goods and service tax GST. State government have the authority to impose tax on items such as property, land and professional services known as state taxes. Additionally, local governments including municipal corporations and panchayat may impose taxes such as property tax and local cess to fund local infrastructure and services. State and local governments. State and local governments play a crucial role in taxation as they are responsible for administering and collecting taxes within their jurisdiction. These government determine tax rates, asset property values and collect taxes to finance state level expenditures including education, health care, public transportation and urban development projects. Tax revenues collected by state and local governments contribute to economic development, social welfare program and the overall functioning of local communities. In conclusion, taxation serves as a cornerstone of government finance enabling finance in enabling the provision of essential public services and infrastructure. In India, state and local governments have significant autonomy in taxation, playing a vital role in fiscal governance and resource allocation at the subnational level. Then we move on to another important issue that is compliance with regulation. So, property owners bear the responsibility of ensuring compliance with various government regulations spanning environmental laws, building codes, zoning ordinances and other statutory requirements. So, as the name itself is very clear that environmental laws basically deals with uh, environmental protection. Building codes are related to uh, how uh, local uh, municipal authorities decide about the uh, uh, how the development of real estate is taking place. So, there are certain rules which we have to follow there. Then 
zoning ordinances and other statutory requirements which are also related to real estate. Then compliance with these regulations is paramount to avoid legal liability, penalties and reputational damage underscoring the importance of thorough understanding and adherence to applicable laws and standards. Then comes the liability indemnification. So, if you are not following the law, who is liable? So, that is a very important issue because when we are saying the real principles of real estate management, that if we are talking about the management of real estate, we should also be very clear that in case if we are not fully, you know, uh, following the rule of law, then what are the consequences? Because real estate is a very controlled industry. Real estate is very much affected by government laws. So, it is essential that participants, the stakeholders of real estate very much follow the rule. Now, for some situations, owners do not have that time and resources for uh, responding to the government regulations or requirements. Then in that case, what is the solution? For that, we have management agreement. So, management agreement should include provisions for liability, indemnification, protecting the real estate manager against legal consequences, stemming from non-compliance with regulations. Indemnification clauses outline protocol for addressing and rectifying non-compliance issues, ensuring that responsibilities and liabilities are clearly delineated between the property owner and the real estate manager. Very crucial role for real estate manager. By incorporating robust indemnification mechanism into the management agreement, property owners um, and managers can mitigate legal risk and foster a collaborative approach to regulatory compliance. So, compliance with government regulation is a fundamental aspect of property management with property owners bearing the primary responsibility for adherence through the inclusion of liability indemnification provisions in the management agreement. Property owners and managers can navigate regulatory complexities with confidence, safeguarding their interest and ensuring legal compliance in all facets of property operations. Moving on to the next slide. So, we are what are the reasons for real estate investments? So, we have been discussing about uh, certain basic aspects of real estate. Another important aspect of uh, real estate is investing in real estate. So, what are the reasons for real estate investment? So, today we will delve into the reasons why investors choose real estate as investment avenue. Comparing it with liquid and illiquid investments, highlighting its benefits and discussing considerations for portfolio diversification. Comparison of liquid and illiquid investments. So, liquid investments, these are assets easily con converted into cash without significant loss of value. Example include stocks, bonds and mutual funds. Liquidity allows investors to swiftly buy or sell assets in response to market change or personal financial needs. Illiquid investments. Illiquid investments cannot be assets cannot be quickly sold or converted into cash without incurring substantial cost or time delay. Now, we very well know that real estate is part of illiquid investments. They are not that easy to sell, they are not that easy to buy. So, the, uh, the selling and buying part of real estate is not that liquid as stocks, bonds, which are easily purchasable and easily sellable. So, that is one important facet of real estate and when we are investing in real estate, we should understand that. Then benefits of real estate ownership, so capital preservation. Real estate investment offers the potential for capital preservation, protecting investors principal against inflation and market volatility. Tangible assets like properties tend to retain their value over time, providing a hedge against economic uncertainties. Appreciation. Real estate properties have the potential to appreciate in value over the long term, 
driven by factors such as location, market demand and property improvements. Appreciation increases the investor's equity and potential return on investment. Then periodic return. Real estate investment can generate periodic income in the form of rental payments from tenants. This steady cash flow provides investors with a source of passive income, enhancing their overall investment yield. Then there are certain tax advantages also. So real estate ownership offers various ta ta tax benefits, including deductions for mortgage interest, property tax, depreciation, and certain property-related expenses. These tax advantages can reduce the investor's taxable income and increase cash flow. Consideration for portfolio diversification. Now, when we talk about investments, it is always prudent to invest in multiple assets. We are talking about creating a portfolio of assets. Portfolio of assets may include stocks, may include bonds, and if it includes real estate, it provides you a chance that you are reducing your risk. So it is essential that we try to diversify our investment portfolio and real estate is a very good tool for us in that situation. So what are the benefits which real estate provides? So we have risk management. So including real estate is an investment portfolio can help di diversify risk by spreading investments across, across different asset class with non-correlated returns. Uh, real estate low correlation with stocks and bonds can enhance portfolio stability and reduce overall volatility. Now, when we talk about correlation, we are saying that uh, when there are certain market forces which are there, whether it is uh, due to uh, some uh, local uh, economic factors or maybe due to some global economic factors. The way assets respond to them, that is the way stocks or equity or the way bonds or the way real estate responds to these changes is different. So they are having low correlation amongst them. So when we are selecting these uh, low correlated assets and put them into a portfolio, we are reducing our risk. So income generation, that is another advantage. So real estate investment can provide a reliable source of income, complementing other investment assets that may offer capital appreciation, but lack regular cash flow. Diversifying into income generating real estate properties can create a more balanced portfolio. Long term growth, real estate potential, for long-term appreciation aligned with investors' goal for wealth accumulation and retirement planning, including real estate alongside other growth-oriented assets can support portfolio growth over the investment horizon. So basically, if I can summarize three important points we have here is risk management, the diversification because of real estate we are getting in our portfolio. Second, the long-term growth of uh, uh, of our investment long term potential real estate as a long term investment uh, is a very good uh, opportunity and then the uh, the income generation that is uh, by renting and by uh, utilizing our property that uh, itself is another way to uh, generate income through real estate so these are some important advantages which we should remember about real estate investment so uh, real estate investments offer a unique blend of benefits including capital preservation, appreciation and periodic return and tax advantages, making it an attractive option for investors seeking to diversify their portfolio and achieve long-term financial objectives. Understanding the role of real estate within a diversified investment strategy is essential for optimizing risk-adjusted return and build, building wealth over time. Then moving on to factors influencing land value. Now we understand that when we talk about real estate, we are also talking about the land over which the real estate is built or sometimes in some situa situations we are also selling the plot. So the, the, uh, the, the factors which influence the land value because land value plays a crucial role. Sometimes you will see that land is exorbitantly costly in some areas 
and in some areas it is uh, very cheaply available. So, what are the factors behind it? So, first one of course, I just now mentioned is your location, location and location that is where the location of your uh, land is. So, if it is situated in New York, the cost will be different. If it is situated in Mumbai, the cost will be different. If it is situated in some uh, small town, then the cost will be different. So, the location of the property is very, very important. Then we have inherent qualities and potential for development. The inherent quality of the land including topography, soil quality, natural features and environmental consideration also play a significant role in determining its value. Land with favorable characteristics such as fertile soil for agriculture or scenic waterfront views may command premium prices. Moreover, the potential for development including zoning regulations, land use designations and infrastructure availability influences land value. Parcels with the potential for residential, commercial or industrial development are often valued higher due to their versatility and future earning potential. So, it is not always same everywhere depending on what are the local laws, what are the potential uh, earning in future, there are multiple factors which are affecting the, uh, the value of land. Population growth and economic dynamics, then population growth and shifts in economic activity exert direct influence on land values. Regions experiencing robust population growth driven by factors such as migration, natural population increase and urbanization often witness increased demand for land and upward pressure on prices. Similarly, changes in industrial sectors, employment opportunities and economic development initiatives can impact land value. Areas experiencing economic expansion, diversification or revitalizing efforts may see heightened demand for land for commercial industrial or mixed use developments le leading to appreciation and in land prices. Understanding this interplay of factors is essential for real estate investors, developers and policy makers alike as it informs strategic decision making and investment strategies. By recognizing the determinants of land value and their implications for market dynamics, stakeholders can identify opportunities mitigating risk and optimize returns in the ever evolving landscape of real estate markets. Then we talk about what impacts real estate markets. So, we have seen that what is impacting real estate investment, what is impacting real estate, uh, what is impacting the land value. Now, we are talking about what is impacting the overall real estate market. What are the factors which are impacting this important market which is we have been discussing. So, one important factor is supply and demand dynamics. So, at the heart of real estate markets lie the principles of supply and demand which dictates the equilibrium between available properties, supply and potential buyers or tenants demand. Fluctuation in supply or demand dynamics exert profound influence on market conditions influencing property prices, occupancy rates and investment returns. When demand for real estate outweighs the available supply, properties become more scarce driving up prices and rents. Conversely, an oversupply of properties relative to demand exert downward pressure on values and rents as competition intensifies among sellers on or landlords. Factor inducing demands, influencing demand. So, demand for real estate is influenced by a myriad of economic, demographic and regulatory forces changes in population dynamics including population growth, migration pattern and household uh, formation rates directly impact the demand for housing and commercial space. Moreover, economic indicator such as income level, employment opportunity and consumer confidence play pivotal role in shaping demand for real estate. Positive economic condition typically simulate demand for housing, retail 
and office space while economic downturn may dampen demand due to the job losses and income constraints credit availability and interest rate also influence demand for real estate as they impact the affordability of financing for home buyers and investors low interest rates and relaxed lending standards often stimulate demand for make by making borrowing more accessible and affordable then we come to supply side dynamics on the supply side factors such as land availability construction activity regulatory constraints and development cost shape the inventory of available properties land scarcity zoning regulations and permitting processes can constrain the supply of developable land limiting new construction and influencing the property prices changes in construction activities including the pace of new development renovations and demolitions directly impact the supply of real estate assets in specific markets oversupply in certain property types or sub markets can lead to increased vacancies declining rents and downward pressure or property values with while underplay may result in heightened competition among tenants or buyers favoring property owners so understanding these market dynamics is essential for real estate stakeholders enabling them to navigate market fluctuations identify investment opportunities and formulate sound strategies to optimize returns in dynamic and evolving real estate markets then moving on to key indicators in real estate so we have seen that how the value of land is impacted how the market is the real estate market is getting impacted now what are the key indicators which tell us uh, how to gauge all these changes how to analyze these changes so let's delve into them so first one is your occupancy level so occupancy rates provide insights into the utilization of real estate assets uh, indicating the extent to which properties are leased so how much occupancy is there so that is a important factor which we have to keep in mind then rental prices what are the the rental prices are market whether they are going up or down so that is an important thing which we need to understand then what are the mortgage lendings so uh, the whether that is uh, the, the lending rate is what is the lending rate how the uh, the mortgage is available in the market or not so all that that is important uh, and important indicator of real estate market and then the uh, real estate managers monitor these indicators to assess market trends and make informed decisions so for any informed and well know uh, well uh, informed uh, uh, real estate manager it is important to un- understand that there are multiple indicators which they have to continuously look at and gauge what are the market situation where they should invest so all these indicators are useful for real estate managers to understand real estate market dynamics moving on to financing another important issue which is uh, very relevant for real estate because it's a very cost heavy uh, that is the financing of uh, the real estate that is how you borrow funds to purchase real estate uh, what are the loan documents what are the mortgages uh, they have to look into and what are the promissory notes so there are different uh, uh, important uh, uh, um, um, Uh, financial aspects which have to be looked at by real estate managers when they are talking about real estate investment so that is there so overall the conclusion so the foundational aspects of real estate principles have been discussed in this session upon which we will build the remainder of the course now we in this particular course uh, we have uh, gone through uh, various important points now ranging from what is real estate then Uh, factors which affect real estate investments then the uh, the real estate how the real estate managers are how they should uh, like what are the, uh, the the their their priorities then how the real estate market evolved uh, both internationally and nationally uh, the major key events we have seen uh, then we also have looked at how the technological changes impacting the real estate market then we have seen that how the, uh, the, the what is the role of the government the role of taxation and we have looked at the uh, compliance issues which we have to take into consideration and 
then we also have seen how the real estate market, real estate land values are impacted and how in the end we have seen that financing of the real estate is very important because it is a very cost intensive sector which require a lot of cost from participants to participate in this important market which is um, what we have discussed in the first session. In the next session, we will, uh, uh, we will build upon these concepts. We will uh, 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 go through some of these concepts again and in detail we will be discussing them uh, individually. Thank you.